Well, I'm Ranger Kooky. Now I'm out of here in my little, you know, my little area. I do a lot of my bushcraft and stuff. I do some type of bushcrafting in my little cubby hole. Sometimes I light fire, sometimes I don't. But today, since I have bad weather appearing in the midst of us, look at that. It's ready to rain, cats and dogs, and water buffalo, and maybe some elephants. So, today I'm going to talk about me. Why is that? Why do you want to talk about me? Well, why do I call myself Ranger Kooky? It's a character I created. And, really, Kooky was my nickname for almost my whole life. Why they call me kooky? Well, my dyslexia kicks in, or it kicks in all the time. And, you know, when I was a child, my grandma thought I was retarded. And I needed to collect a check, or get onto the check. I told my mom, I told everybody, I'm not stupid, I'm smarter than you think. This is back when I was a child, my dyslexia was so horrible that you would not understand me right now. You'd be like, what? What? But over the years, I tried to pronounce words better. Try to use things in sentence. That's why I'm not going out in the woods today. So, most of my friends, I got my nickname, Kooky, from one of my friends. I mean, the mosquitoes are bad out here today. Because I talk in rhymes and riddles and most of the time all kinds of different languages. And that's how I got my nickname, Kooky. Because I do some kooky shit too. I did some stuff in my life. I got my 15 minutes of fame. Ha! Ha ha ha! I got my 15 minutes of fame. You just don't believe the things I did in my lifetime. I made my mark on this planet. I wasn't going down without a fight. Alright, back to my dyslexia. My dyslexia affects me every day. My speech. Sometimes my thought processing. That's when I build something and I'm with my friends, they can build it better. Because they don't have that dyslexia. And I remember one day I'll take you next door and help you uh, show you some stuff we built. And I'll show you my friend's stuff and I'll show you my stuff. How warped and oddly they look. So, my dyslexia affects me all the time all the time and when I'm go to your channel and I type some stuff I, I only type a few words I want to say a lot more but I cannot my dyslexia kicks in words are scrambled I put the words in the sentence wrong I'm not asking you to forgive me it's part of my dyslexia you got to deal with it just as much as I have to deal with it so I'm not saying I'm sorry for any of that that's what I was born with that's what I want to be working with the rest of my life until I die. Um, so, I just want to talk to y'all about my dyslexia a little bit. I do repeat myself all the time. I notice that every time I'm always repeating myself. I say the same thing. I don't get my point across sometimes. I notice I watch my videos just to verify I got something right before I send it out. Sometimes I rewatch it to make sure I didn't say something silly. That's why I don't cut it and edit my videos because there's no reason to because I'm going to say something dumb in the next part. I'm not going to curse because I don't like cursing. So you're not going to have a lot of cursing. I might say shit or bitch which is if you do find shit you step in it all the time so shit. I don't like the F word. I do not like the F word at all. 
I try not to use it. I don't want no one to use it towards me in any way or any form because it's disrespectful. Now, my words are backwards, sometimes the miss. I'm going to show you something that helps me out a little bit. This damn phone. This phone right here helps me. Helps me spell words I'm trying to get across. I try to be more precise. I'll go in there. I have to say the word. And sometimes this phone don't get... Damn light and thunder. Don't get what I'm saying. <clears throat> so I have to repeat myself almost several times. For this phone to understand me. Even this phone don't understand me. And number time. And number. Re. Go below. Go to the. Uh, to the word. Uh, the things where you type in. You pushing the button to see the words. You will laugh your ass off. Tom almost died on himself. Probably pissed on himself too. He read the. Uh, the. The. Uh, Damn it, Tom, help me with this. <laughs> and some words are just backwards. I can't even, like, even say the word. I, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't say it. The credits. Not the credits. The CC. The closed caption. Go down there. Type in. Uh, put in the closed caption. Listen to what I'm saying. That damn YouTube. That million dollar YouTube video thing. Don't you know what I'm saying? I watched a few videos saying I was going to kill children at the White House. Trust me, you will laugh your ass off. Go there now. Watch some of those videos with the caption on and you will laugh your ass off. Even the YouTube channel don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. So, knowing that also, so you can go to the YouTube channel, type in at the bottom about uh, the closed closed caption, and you'll see those funny remarks that I will say. And you will laugh, and you'll probably die or piss on yourself when you watch this closed caption. You know what? I'm gonna make this a video closed caption where you can read what I'm saying, and you gonna laugh your ass off because the mean dollar YouTube channel don't know what I'm saying. And I'm not asking you forgiveness, or I'm sorry for it, because it's part of my dyslexia. I've been dealing with it for years, now you got to deal with it. But I do appreciate y'all tuning in, watching my videos, liking, and say, leaving comments, because that helps. Just leaving a little comment, that, it means a lot to me. Most people say, oh, it don't mean shit to me. It means a lot to me, because I'm doing my job right. Now... My dyslexia affects me in all kinds of different ways. It affects my speech, my writing, my, I'll miss, I'll, 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 I'll see words that are not there. So you, you'll have to forgive me and you gotta help, help out by reading those things I type and say, what the hell he's typing or trying to say? You gotta help yourself to figure out what I'm trying to say to y'all. Look at these beautiful woods. Believe it or not, this is my back, my dad's backyard. I used to play in this backyard. You didn't have all these trees. Look at that. Look how pretty this is. I want to show you an oak tree. Beautiful oak tree. I was dying because of all these trees. So, thank you for helping me out. You don't, you don't have to correct me or anything. You can laugh. That's how I want you to do. That's how I got my name, Kooky. Because my dyslexia when I was a child was really bad. I talk in some weird language. I'm like, what the hell? What are you saying? What are you, what are you talking about? I had my own language. And sometimes only another dyslexia person can understand me. It's weird. Because I went to uh, see my niece in Mississippi. And we went to uh, the Grand Canal, 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 whatever you call that goddamn place. And we was eating, and the guy was there. He thought I was mental retarded or something. Maybe I don't know. And I told him about my dyslexia, how it affects me. He said, "Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why what? How I speak." 
I'm good where I'm at. Anything I get into, I will get into it. I will learn everything about it. I try to do my best, like I always say. Look at that baby. I used to play in that tree. I used to crawl up that branch right there, swing across this tree. Oh, the fun. It's like the uh, BB war guns and things we used to do as a kid. And I used to come out here do all kinds of stuff, camping, playing this old big old oak tree. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm misleading y'all. So everybody thought I was stupid or retarded until I surprised them. It was like that one day I was at work. And I was doing movie trivia with somebody else. And I'm like, I'm like, what? You thought I was a retard? You no, I thought you was Homer Simpson. Believe it or not, Homer Simpson has an IQ of 120. You can look it up. Homer Simpson's IQ is 120. So you tell me who's stupid. Yep, I was doing movie trivia. We, we name a movie and name a part of the movie and you got to guess what happened next. Or what he said or what he or she said in that movie. So, a lot of people really think I'm stupid, but I'm not. I know y'all don't. Don't, don't, don't say it. we don't. I know y'all don't, so y'all don't have to say it. But the people... I've come across and talked to, they might think I'm dumb, but I fool them later on. I always fool my victims later on. I used to play here. This used to be an old thing of all kinds of metal trash and junk. I used to make all kinds of goodies here. I made a, a pond back here. That was like five feet deep. Now it's like three. Because over time it builds back up. I wish I could bury it. But we didn't. And we used to, I used to go all in those woods back there. Until somebody bought the property. So I can't go back in my woods no more like I used to. I was ready to build all kinds of stuff back there. But somebody sold the property and I can't get back there no more. And I respect people's property. So I'm not going back there. Unless I have permission. I hope you enjoy my video about me a little bit more. Hope you can understand me more now. Maybe. Maybe this will help you all out. Because I have to use this phone every time I type. Another reason I'm not leaving. That's horrible out there. It's sunny here, but it's... It's coming, maybe. I don't want to be out here in the rain. So I just came out here and did a, a quick video about me. Why they call me Kooky? My name, I've, been, I've been having that name since 13, 14 years old. Not a like, little story about me. It's not the reason why I created a YouTube channel, but... Just to talk to you about more about me and the things I do. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you understand me a little bit more now. Maybe helps you out. But trust me, I want to type a shitload of stuff in each of y'all's videos. But... I'm limited to what I can type. My dyslexia kicks in. You see a lot of misspelled words. This is the words, the letters are mixed around. Or the whole sentence is scrambled like scrambled eggs. But you got to get used to it. That's why I only type a few things. Thank you for the share or thank you for the reply. I'm going to show you another little place that I used to play in. But now I've been bought by another person. I used to play in this big field out here. Uh, 
so like I said I'm not apologizing for my dyslexia you got to deal with it like I do because one day or maybe you or you have a child that has dyslexia or you know somebody that has dyslexia and you got to deal with their disability don't make them think they're stupid there's a pack of it this thick about dyslexia and how it affects people and never never underestimate a dyslexia person who has dyslexia because they're smarter than you think you might see me make fun of a character i created it was called riri the person that character was hit by a car while riding a bike with no lights he was created through another character i created i'm not mentioning their names but but that character was created through another character. His name is Riri. He got hit by a bike with no lights. And he was a very smart, intelligent person. He owned a lot of property, had a lot of money. All lost because he didn't have a light on his bike. So, so don't get mad at me if you ever see the character Riri in your videos. Because I'm not making fun of people who have disability. I assure you, I've been laughed at all my life. But I cope with it and deal with it. I made it funny. I made it where people laugh at me. That's my job. So I took something that was negative and turned it to a positive. That's what I do every day of my life. Everything po negative, I will turn it into a positive reaction. And I always tell everybody, you're just pushing your own buttons. You're not pushing my buttons. I'm going to make you matter. Keep yakking your mips, and I will make you madder at me. You'll be more pissed at me than me pissed at you. There's a few things that gets me pissed off, and it's very rare, and I won't tell nobody what it is. But it takes a lot for me to get mad at somebody, because you made a comment. So what? I've been commented. I was told all kinds of shits through my whole life. One more comment is not going to help or hurt me. <laughs> so you can try. It's not going to work. So... That's why I always tell people that it's always my, my co-workers. I'm like, don't don't push your buttons because you're pushing your own buttons. You're going to aggravate yourself. You're not going to aggravate me. You're going to aggravate yourself. And one day I will get that uh, part of that dyslexia. You can always Google just dyslexic. Ah, dyslexia. Dyslexia. And uh, it'll pipe up all the stuff that goes on with a dyslexia person. This is my little cubby hole. Look at my bones. Yes, that's a cat. The poor thing was found in a trap that I took out the woods. Poor thing. So I just kept it. So the only person going to be messing with me is the person who's talking bad to me. Talking crap. You're not going to get no worse. You're just going to... Get yourself madder because I'm going to say some shit about you real quick and get you pissed off even more about, you, about me than me getting pissed off at you. That's part of my dyslexia. I'll kick it, I'll kick it, kicks in and your ass is grass. Let's walk around my property. You know how many friends said, man, you got a nice sweet place. Look, remember that kitchen sink I told y'all? I got it. <laughs> I got it at the POW camp. I always wanted to show you, but my camera wasn't there at the time. So I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope you watch this whole video all the way through. Because there's something at the end you need to watch. So, back to me. Look at my neighbor's yard, how pretty that root yard is. I want my yard to ski looted. You can't even see my house. That's what I want. I want privacy. Oh, I can get in my yard. I can do that. <laughs> Look at that. Look how pretty. This little part. And I got like, every time I do yard work, and I got tight, two little holes I go to. There's really three, but usually these two, the ones I really go to. Here's my second hole. I come out here and I sit in this chair, put my 
glass of iced tea or water right here. Take the branch off my ass. Go sit there for hours just watching people walk by and driving by. Try to kill all the poison ivory. And I got some stuff hanging on, on a thing here. But this is where I sit at sometimes while I'm cleaning up. I got some little artifacts out here. A pine cones in, it's like a burn later on. Alright. Let's sum up this video and we'll walk around and uh, we're gonna sum up this video real quick. So I hope you learn some stuff about my dyslexia, how it affects me every day of my life. How how do I cope with it? Um, like I said, I'm not going to apologize for my dyslexia. It's my disability, and you got to deal with it just as much as I have to. Don't feel sorry for me either. I'm a very smart, intelligent person. I, could, I took a couple of those tests online. Say I have a 128 IQ, but I know. Sometimes those tests are cuckoo. Sometimes they're good. Oh, look at that. A frame thing. Welcome to the jungle. I can't wait for all these trees to grow up and start killing all this smoke. Slaw, uh, sm sloth, sloth, sloth. Yeah, I'm saying sloth for low property girl. All right, I, I need to get some trash out of here. Oh, look, a pan. I can use that for camp, but nothing wrong with it. Sometimes you forget what you got out here until you look. And over here, should get rid of all this trash. This is my little pond. All the water comes down from around the house down into this little pond. It goes in here. Uh, sometimes I have crawfish in here. I can scoop up some crawfish. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video in a few minutes. Now I know I repeat myself a thousand times in this video, but and sometimes I don't realize I'm repeating myself, but I do repeat myself. So, I'm a very smart, intelligent person. Don't put me down, because I will throw you a, a brick where you can sink. And I don't make fun of people who have disabilities. Softpaw, I want to let you know something. I was in, you won't believe this, I was also in the Special Olympics when I was a kid. Because they thought I was retarded. Because dyslexia wasn't a thing back then. I guess all the chemicals, people say, Oh, we've got chemicals in the water or something, and you're making you retarded. No, it's just my brain scrambled. Um. Yes, when I was in school, they thought I was retarded. Stupid. Dumb. I was in a special ed school. And I went to the Special Olympics, believe it or not. I went to the Special Olympics when I was a child or little. Because they thought I was retarded. Because they couldn't understand me. And people still don't understand me. Alright, what's in this box? Alright, I'm going to end that one with my dyslexia. I hope you learn more about me. And my YouTube channels, my U my YouTubers, my subscribers, there you go. My subscribers learn a little bit more about me, so maybe you can understand me more. There's You can type in this lecture and it will pop up a thousand things what goes on in my brain. And trust me, I'm smarter than you think. And most of y'all already know that. It's just new people I come across at work. I'm like, yeah, I think you dumb as a rock. Now, I show them something. Now, all right, what's in this box? In this box, all of you want it. I'm telling you right now, all of you want what's in this box. And the only way you can win what's in this box is two things to win what's in this box. And trust me, you want what's in this box. 
And all the way you can win this box. Two. Two things you have to do to win this box. This was a gift I was going to give to my friend Andrew Majuri. This is how badass this thing is. I was going to give this to my friend Andrew Majuri as a gift. Because he's given me all these gifts over time. A knife, this, uh, jackets, blankets, you name it. He gave me almost all kinds of stuff. Hammock, tarps. So before our next season was winter, I said, I want to buy both of us one of these. I'm not telling you what, that is, what it is because that is part of the game. You got to guess what that is in that box. You have three chances to name what is in that box. N the name of that th the item, what color of the item is, and what does it do. That's the first way to win that prize. Remember, I'm going to start giving clues to what's in that box through my videos. So Tom and Jason and whoever else is listening who wants that gift that's in that box that you and everybody will want. Trust me, you want that gift what's in that box. You will want it. You will murder somebody for it. No, I'm just picking. But you want that what's in this box. I'm going to shake it just to let y'all hear what it is. It's small. You can't break it. I mean, I can't break it by shaking it. So it's not fragile. Get away, bug. And the second way you can win this, and I only know two people couldn't qualify to win this. Donnie Pallanarini of the Great Outdoors can win this gift. And the only way you can win it, my friend, you go camping with me seven times. I don't care where. I don't care when. As long as you go camping with me, seven times and Landman is the second person can win this prize if he goes camping with me seven times the reason why seven times because my aunt my friend Andrew was going to get this gift for me I bought I was going to buy both one for him one for me but I decided to do this big ass challenge you guess what that is you earned it, because you know the kooky. If you know the kooky, you know what's in that box. This gift is very special to us out, uh, bushcrafters and outdoorsers, outdoors and survivors. It's very important to have this thing. It will save a lot of time. So, but listen to all my videos. I'll be leaving clues to what's in that box. You only had three chances. To guess the color, the name, and what it is. If you guess the color, the name, and what it is, you earn that box. And trust me, you want it. All bushcrafters and survivalists want what's in that box. Look, I see part of it. Oh, I can't show you. <laughs> oh, it's small, but it's, trust me, you want it. After you find out, look at the weather. It's going to storm on me, Mama. So I'm going to end this video. I hope one of two things is going to, who's going to win this box is going to be Landman or Donnie Pallarini of Landman. Manland. I'm saying it right this time. Manland. That's the closest people to me can win this prize because they're close and they can go camping with me within seven times. Like I said, this gift was going to be given to my best friend. So it's very special to me. And the only way you can really earn this, if you guess what that sucker is, or you come camp with me as a great friend like my friend Andrew Majuri did. That's how special this item is to me. It might be 10 cents for that thing, but it's still worth a million bucks to me in my book. It might mean nothing to you, but hey, it means a lot to me what's in this box. What's in this box? You got three chances. You got to name the color, the name, and what it does. All right, repeat myself already. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Because <laughs> Mama loves you. And I don't know what to do. What to do. All right, Mama loves